It's been about a year since Kelly McKernan began noticing her distinct style popping up online in images eerily similar to something that the artist might have made. The Nashville-based 37-year-old who creates both fine arts and digital illustration soon learned that companies were feeding her artwork into AI system used to train image generators. And uh, the images I was seeing were just kind of like these flickers of the things that I already had going on up here. Um, I wasn't yet seeing art that looked like it could be mine specifically, but the very fact that I knew they were using my name and everything they learned about me and my work to generate things like my work, I had no desire for several months to paint. I didn't paint. The generated art now threatens the livelihood of artists worldwide, including Carla Ortiz. My fear is that I won't be able to paint, that I won't be able to enjoy what I do because at the every artist will end up just being an editor. I'm just going to edit the results of an AI because the fun parts of my job, the things that make artists, you know, live and breathe, which is painting, which is coming up with the idea, really communicating, seeing every step of that, all of that is outsourced to a machine. In January this year, McKernan, Ortiz, and Sarah Anderson was filed the case against Stability AI, the London-based maker of text-to-image generator Stable Diffusion. The suit alleges that the AI image generators violate the rights of millions of artists. 